Welcome back everyone, and the Kronos Group has officially detailed its Vulcan SDK, tools, and drivers are now ray tracing ready. But didn't Vulcan already have ray tracing in it? I mean, Quake 2 RTX was running on Vulcan? Well yeah, that's true, but running on an NVIDIA made extension in order for the game to have full support. So the same thing goes for Wolfenstein Youngblood as well. NVIDIA made an extension to support ray tracing in that title as well. But now the Vulkan API has official hardware agnostic branch for ray tracing support. So Kronos has released the final extension last month in November of 2020 so that developers could start integrating functionality alongside Vulkan's legacy rasterization framework. By doing so, they've allowed for Vulkan ray tracing to truly become the industry's first open cross-platform and cross-vendor solution for ray tracing acceleration. As for now, Vulkan RT can be deployed using existing GPUs that have either full-blown dedicated ray tracing cores like NVIDIA's RT cores or AMD's ray accelerators, or can support GPU compute RT rendering. So that's somewhat like uh, the Pascal GPUs would do. So according to the information by the Kronos Group detailing the support, it's supporting the existing AMD and NVIDIA beginning with the AMD Radeon Adrenaline 20.11.3 drivers and existing NVIDIA drivers for both GeForce and Quadro cards for Windows 460.82 and Linux 460.27.03. Now they go on to detail that they will having support for the upcoming Intel Xe HP GPU, Xe, Xe HPG GPU. That's going to be tough going forward, which is slated for availability in 2021. It's exciting times to see Intel GPUs listed in announcements like these. So what happens next? Well, a lot can happen, but one thing that's certain from the information that we were given by the Kronos Group is that Quake 2 RTX will be getting an updated to version 1.4 and become the world's first cross-vendor ray tracing Vulkan application. Now to be clear, it won't happen until version 1.4 of the game drops, and at the time of this video, we haven't gotten an answer as to when the release date for that will happen. But it makes it clear that we can expect some big and quick changes to existing titles. Perhaps we can finally see Doom Eternal get that RT support that was teased about early on. After all, they did say that they would explore it later, and waiting for the official extension to come out would definitely help as they wouldn't have had to divert development energy into a custom extension at the time. But there's a lot going to be happening here over the coming months and even years. And well, we'll be here trying to do our best to keep up with it and let you guys know as soon as we do. So let us know what you think about Vulkan getting its ray tracing extension, official ray tracing extension that's going to work across the board. So no longer will we have to worry about vendor specific extensions going into Vulkan based titles. And Vulkan is quite an interesting engine as it typically lends itself to very high refresh rates or high frame rates rather. And other games like Red Dead Redemption 2 are supporting it. So it's possible that someone could inject ray tracing into a game like that. Well, let us know what you think down in the comment section below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you in the next video.